Store. It is so good to see you. Today's show is about something that will interest everyone watching. Today's show is about I. I. And that means you. Today's show is about you. Have you ever had a time when you thought there was something that you couldn't do or you were a failure? Well, the Bible, the Word of God says in Philippians 4.13, this is a powerful scripture. I, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. God doesn't make junk. And when you know Jesus, he will make you to become a winner. That's right. God has made you in his image and you are a winner. Now let's go to Postmaster Pendergrass with today's letter. And it is, can you believe it? The letter I. Postmaster Pendergrass here with today's letter. And today's letter is the letter I. 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 Let's see. Uh, some things that start with I. How about eyeball? No, that's an E. Oh, I get those confused. Uh, let's see. How about another one? How about uh, encyclopedia? No, that's an E also. Uh, let me see. I'm not even getting warm. Let's get cold. How about uh, uh, cold? Cold, yeah. Ice. Yeah, I starts with I. And how about the color indigo? Yeah, I like indigo. Yeah, and if Indy should go, why shouldn't I go? So, I'm gonna go. Bye! I know a word that begins with I, the letter I. I reminds me I can do all things through Christ. The letter I. The letter I. 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 The letter I. Brindle, 
try it one more time. Everybody can float, and if you can float, you can swim. Arliss laid back and floated on top of the lake. Now you try it, said Papa Bear. I'll hold my paws under you. You won't let me go? Brindle asked. No, I'll hold you until you're ready. Oh, all right, I'll try it. Brindle carefully leaned back into Papa's arms. He began to relax just a little. That's it, said Papa. You can do it. Brindle relaxed a little more. He felt Papa's paws under him, but he also felt himself moving up and down with the water. Papa's paws were barely touching Brindle's back now. Okay, Papa, said the little bear. I think I can do it. Papa Bear slowly pulled away. That's it, Brindle. You're doing it all by yourself now. <gasps> I'm floating, Brindle said. I can swim. You're not swimming yet, silly, said Arliss. But that's a good start. Papa Bear moved back over to Brindle and showed him how to kick his feet and move his paws to swim in the shiny water. I knew I could do it all along, said Brindle. I knew you could too, said Papa Bear. You know what, boys and girls, just like Brindle thought he couldn't swim, there's times we think we can't do things, but his papa said he could. And our Father God has written in his word in Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ. Always remember, I can do all things. Simon, and I'm here today with a memory verse I want you to say. So yell it out and don't be shy. Go ahead, kids, give the word a try. Say Philippians 4.13. Philippians 4.13. I can do all things. I can do all things. Through Christ who strengthens me. Through Christ who strengthens me. Come on, say Philippians 4.13. Philippians 4.13 Say, I can do all things I can do all things Through Christ who strengthens me Through Christ who strengthens me Good job! Say, Philippians 4.13 Philippians 4.13 I can do all things Through Christ who strengthens me I can do all things Come on, say Philippians 4.13. Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'm Ryman Simon, and yes, I heard you boys and girls speak the word. Elmer Barnes reporting for CSTV. We're spanning the globe for ordinary people doing extraordinary things through Jesus Christ. I'm here today in Lefty's Barbershop in Dry Gulch watching Lefty shave a woman. I'm not shaving a woman. He's giving me a facial, you silly. That's right. We here at Lefty's, we give beard trims, haircuts, facials, manicures, colors, rinses, and bar mitzvahs. Bar mitzvahs? I was just kidding on that last one. And he works cheap. Were you always a good barber? Well, between you and me, I hadn't always been this good. Really? But he always worked cheap. That's right. That first haircut was a doozy. What did you do? Well, I realized I needed some help, so I went to barber school. But shouldn't you have gone to school before you opened a shop? You know, that's exactly what my first customer said. But nevertheless, I went. Was it hard? It was college. Barber college. But then I found a scripture. What's that? Jesus wept. Go thou and do likewise. Huh? I mean, Philippians 4.13. I can do, it's talking about me and you, all things through Christ. And did it help? You better believe it helped. There's power in the Word of God. Well, excuse me, I've got to get back to this facial. He works real cheap. And that's the way it is on CSTV. I can
can do all things through Christ. Good day. Ned, I can't believe I'm so uncoordinated. I guess I'm probably the worst basketball player who ever played the game. I'm just terrible. Just terrible. What's the matter with you? Oh, gee, I can't even walk and chew gum at the same time. Who told you that? My coach did. He says I'm the worst basketball player that he ever saw. And you know what? It's the truth. Now, listen here. You can't be that bad. Jeannie, I can't even dribble the ball. The only dribbling I can do is when I swabber. Now, listen here. That's not the truth. Now, you can do better than that. Now, what's the problem? Well, every time I dribble the ball, I hit it with my feet and kick it across the gym floor. Oh, you got big feet. Well, I know. That's one of my problems. I can't keep them out of the way. I even made two points for the other team today. Well, at least you made it for the hoop. Jeannie, everybody laughs at me. I just can't do it anymore. I'm quitting. I'm going to quit. Now, don't be a quitter. You can do better. That's easy for you to say. You're not out there making a fool of yourself. Well, you don't have to make a fool of yourself. Just keep trying. I've done everything I know to do. Well, get a basketball and go outside and practice dribbling down the sidewalk. It won't do any good. Yes, it will. Don't be a quitter. Jeannie, if you don't have coordination, you can't get it. Yes, you can. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And if you want to play basketball badly enough, you'll go out there and you'll give it another try. Don't be a quitter. You can do it because Jesus is in you. Boys and girls, what I have right here is a brain. Oh, it's not a real one. It's just a play-like brain. But this is what people use to think with. But sometimes people think bad thoughts. And whenever you do that, you need to wash your brain clean because it's very important what you think. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say someday your brain thinks a thought like this. You're going to take a test in school and your brain says, you can't pass that test. You can't do it. Oh, that's a bad thought. You can get rid of that thought like this with the Word of God. You see, the Word of God is like soap and water, and it will clean bad thoughts out of your brain. Just clean that out with the soap and water of God's Word that says, I can do all things through Christ. Whenever you say scriptures like that, it washes your brain clean. Or maybe your brain says to you, you can't have a new bicycle like the other kids. That's not a good thought because God wants to bless you and give you good things. You need to wash that old thought out of your brain. I can do all things through Christ, Philippians 4.13. Or maybe your brain says to you, you're sick and you can't get well. That's not a good thought. You need to take the water of God's Word and wash it clean. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. When you do that, you're putting good thoughts into your brain. And when you think on good things, you'll get those good things in your life. Now, you can't do this unless you have Jesus inside your heart. If you've never asked Jesus to come in your heart, why don't we pray right now? And you can pray with me and you can get Jesus in your heart right now if you really mean this. Come on, let's pray. Say, Dear Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus died for me. I receive him now. I believe he rose from the dead, and Jesus lives in my heart. Amen. Hallelujah. If you prayed that prayer with me, then you're a Christian, and you don't need to let those old bad thoughts come against you anymore. You need to think good thoughts out of God's Word. I can do all things through Christ. Maybe my sister was right. Maybe I did quit too soon. Maybe I should give it another chance. After all... She's right. I do have Jesus inside me. And if he were here, he would be a good basketball player. I know that for sure. So I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I know I can make that team. So I'm going to practice, men. I'm going to practice on my dribbling. I'm going to be the best dribbler there ever was. And then I'll practice faking people out. Ooh, ooh, man, I know I can do it. And then I can go to Joey's house. He's a good basketball player. I can practice with him. I'm going to make that team. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Oh, this is just great. This is just great. Wait till she sees this. Huh? Jeannie May! Jeannie! Come here! I got something to show you! Jeannie, will you hurry? It's important! Oh, this is just...
this great? This is just great. Jeannie May, will you get in here? The school newspaper came out. What is it? What is it? Hey, Jeannie, look here. Look here. Right here on the sports page. Third from left, back row. It's your picture! That's right. And you know what it's there for? You got sent to the principal's office. No, I didn't get sent to the principal. Read the fine print. You made the basketball team and you're starting tonight! That's right, Jeannie! I made the team! Well, congratulations! Oh, I'm excited, Jeannie. And you know what? It's all because of you. Now, wait a minute. I didn't have that much to do with it. Well, you told me. You told me all those important things the other day. You told me I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Jeannie, if you hadn't said that, I would have quit. I wouldn't have made the team. Well, I'm glad I told you. Well, thanks a lot, sis. You really helped me out. Man, am I ever glad I learned. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The letter I. I. The letter I. 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 The letter I. Bum. The letter I. The letter I. Bum. Well, it's, it's sure good to be here with you today, and I've got a real special song to sing to you about the joy that the Lord Jesus has given me, and I sure do hope you like it. Hit it, fellas! I've got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay, and I'm so happy, so very happy. Good. Today 
today's number is the number nine. Nine. I can't believe I'm a grown man talking to worms. lessons? He really did. We can learn a lot from animals. Mr. Hippopotamus says, open your mouth wide for Jesus and tell others about his love. Mr. Rhinoceros has a weapon, his horn, and so do we. We have the word of God to use. And the ostrich lives a long time on the earth. That reminds us to obey our mothers and fathers. We'll live long on the earth if we do that. Mr. Giraffe reminds us to look over our problems. Instead of looking at them, we need to look to God's word. It always has a solution. Mr. Eagle doesn't worry about anything. He flies over his problems. He soars through the air. And the elephants tell us that nothing is too big for God. God can meet any problem. The zebra has stripes like no other animal. He's a unique creation of God, and so are we. The otter lives on both land and water. We live on the earth, but we are citizens of heaven. And the tiger reminds us of the stripes of Jesus. With his stripes, we were healed. Now this camel reminds us to tank up on God's word. The camel can store water. We can store the scriptures. Store them into your heart. And if you're going to be a monkey, don't monkey around doing wrong things. Imitate God. Imitate the life of Jesus. That's the good thing to do. Oh, and this polar bear tells us something too. He may look harmless, but he's very dangerous. That's why we should choose our friends carefully. This alligator reminds us that we have authority over the devil and all his power in the mighty name of Jesus. And the kangaroo tells us that God cares for us. The lion tells us that we've been made kings, kings in the earth through Jesus Christ. And the grizzly says, don't run from trouble, face it and beat it. One day, as mild-mannered Flirp Kirby was leisurely strolling down the hall at school, he overheard little Johnny Barfmarker say, I'm so stupid. I'm done, done, done. I can't make good grade in school. I'm a failure. Oh, my. This looks like a job for Johnny, get a hold of yourself. No, Johnny, not like that. It's your words. They carry power. But I'm not doing good in school, word man. Johnny, you're a believer. Have you prayed and asked for God's help? God wants me to pray about school? Johnny Barf Marker, God wants you to pray about everything. You know, he's right. Let's pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come Remember, to you Remember, kids, we the Word the says in James 5, 16, the prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. You need to use God's Word, and you too can be a Word Man! Number nine. Nine. 
question, Mr. Babysitter. Who's watching my worms? Lefty. Lefty? Yeah, he gave Inky a haircut, and he's wrapping up a facial on Dinky even as we speak. Won't that be expensive? No, he works real cheap. Oh. <laughs> you know, we've been talking about I can do. Mm-hmm. Well, I got to thinking. Me, personally, is the I. <laughs> I. And old Lefty gave me a hairdo. Get it? Do. <laughs> uh, do. Hairdo, yeah. And Miss Lana, well, she's got all these cans, like this one right here. Uh -huh. Well, so there you have it. I can do. <laughs> I can do. I can do. Yeah. Get it? <laughs> well, yeah, it's a stretch. But this late in the show, we'll take it. Okay, that's your take. Time to wrap. Come on, Miss Lana, get in here and close the show. There's your camera right there. Oh, do we have to close? I was having such a good time with the boys and girls. Miss Lana, if we don't close, they're going to run smooth out of videotape. But I don't think I can do that. <laughs> don't you remember? I can do all things through Christ. You're right. I can do it. Come on, Elmer. Let's go check on them worms. I'll bet they'd be looking good by now. You surely works cheap. Oh, yeah, real cheap. Boys and girls, it is time to go. But don't forget your number for the day is the number nine. One, two, three.